Hello everyone, I'm very happy to interview Dr. Keshav today. Uh, there are two reasons for my happiness. First of all, he is my junior from UCMS Delhi. And uh, second reason is uh, he got stupendous ranks. He got rank 47 in INICT and now 87 in NEET PG. So Keshav, many, many congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So Keshav, uh, before I uh, start with the... Uh, you know, the questions about your preparation strategy. This was your first attempt uh, for NEET PG? Yes. So, so you are a fresher, right? Yes. Keshav, I want to ask you this thing before I talk about the resources and all. There were so many postponement, preponement, postponement again, and you know, all these confusions. So yes, somebody like you who managed to get a two-digit rank, how did you ensure that these uh, changes and these distractions uh, don't hamper your preparation? So mainly, I was very much uh, distracted during my INSF preparation for after INSF result because mm -hmm. I, there was one month gap between INSF and this June 23 exam and right. I didn't study much because I got 47 rank. Right. So, but after getting the counseling result and I was not getting my desired branch and college. So I was right. panicking and I was, and on June 22nd, I was saying to my parents that I don't want to keep neat exam. Like I have prepared much. And then this one month postponement was, it was a good thing for me. Personally. It was a blessing and it's nice for you, huh? Yeah, yeah, it was okay. because during that one month I didn't study much because I was hoping that something will get through INSF. So, Keshav, you gave the exam first session morning session or evening session? Evening session, sir. Very nice. So, finally, I found somebody from the evening session who got a two-digit rank. Wonderful. Okay. So, Keshav, uh, we were just having a discussion. Uh, you used cerebellum primarily in the internship. Right. For the exam uh, exam preparation in the internship, you use primarily cerebellum. So you're telling me about the yes. videos and BTR and the late night PYQs. My my simple question to you is, in the internship, there is always this question that should I go into deep? Should I should I study the thing in, in great depth? Or should I ensure that my uh, studies are completed in a limited time so that I have enough time left for revision? What was your strategy? Did you try to go into too much depth or did you try to ensure that you have enough time for revisions? So mainly revision and MCQ solving is more important because uh, the depth is covered during your MBBS 4 and half year. So that right. much if you have studied during that time, so after that you have to revise because you cannot study every 19 subject during internship because it's quite active also. So yeah. through MCQ, that, that's left bit through revision videos, some points that are covered or some mm. MCQs that are mm. covered through previous question and MCQ practice, GTs. So overall, yeah. So you, revision is more important. You talked about PYQs uh, and PYTs. So what is your entire, what is your whole take on this PYQ, PYT debate? Uh, after the second, uh, after the evening session of NEET PG, especially a lot of people said that PYTs are no longer important, PYQs are no longer important. As somebody who got a two-digit rank, what is your take on that? No, sir, it's not true. Actually, out of 200, around 100 questions were definitely repeat. Yeah. So you have to do PYT because you cannot take a chance on getting them wrong. That is a very important point. That, you know, even in an exam like NEET PG 24 evening session, even that yeah. had almost 50 to 60 percent of you know PYQs or modified PYQs or at least PYTs. Yeah. They would so always it was that you be, because 50 around 40 to 50 question has to be new because they have to mm. because otherwise the competition will skyrocket and cut off will go like neat UG. So they had to make 50 to 60 question had to be good and right. to secure depth in depth knowledge. So that's not a, that's a good thing actually. I think that's a good thing. Right. Keshav, you used uh, late night PYQs a lot. So yes. uh, tell us something about what was your thought when you were taking those tests and how did it help you? Sir, I was before PYQ late, late night session, I was mainly doing cust custom modules custom for modules. previous year sessions okay. of okay. INIS, AIMS and PG. But in the late night session, there were also questions from FMG, which were some questions were really good. So mm. that really helped. It did help, right. And uh, 
and and you also use BTR sessions, of course. Did you did you come for offline BTR also? Uh, no, sir. Not okay. Okay. Online. But you use the online BTR uh, 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 lectures of Zainab, ma'am, right? Yes, yes. Okay. And what about the GTs, uh, Keshav? So regarding GTs, there was a. Uh, I mean, I would tell you what we were thinking. We wanted to create GTs which can you know mimic or simulate the real exam as close to the exam. So that has been our aim. But as somebody who got such a great rank, what is your entire uh, thought process about GTs? How many GTs should one appear for? And uh, some students are afraid of taking GTs. They are like, if I got, get a bad uh, score, I'll get disappointed. So what is your thought process on this on this uh, whole issue of GTs? So GTs, so it, we have to because I started with my GT in around March of internship before even studying anything. So GT okay. is to have to start from beginning because then okay. only you can know how much you have to improve. Mm. In my first GT, I got around 550 marks. So after that, I started preparing. Mm. The rate started going from around 600, 650, 680 also. So. And, and as uh, uh, Goga sir says, GRD sir says, and Zenamam says that if you make a question wrong in GT, then that's a good thing because you would not make, make the same mistake in the actual exam. Yes, sir. And also GT give you new questions and previous questions. So it's a good thing. And you also get to know about your competition and how much you are getting ranked and right. scores. Definitely. So many of your juniors would watch this interview. Many of your colleagues would watch this interview. What is your uh, take home message for them? If, if somebody is starting preparation today, focusing for say NEET PG25, what is your advice to them? Initially, it seems overwhelming ki itne 90 subject padne, but it's not like the dheere dheere sa ho jata hai. So you have to start. You have to give GTs and you have to start on revising and eventually you will catch up in around almost around one month you will catch up because you cover five to six subjects mm -hmm. and you will do a lot of MCQs. So after that, you'll start catching up the, to the speed and it's all right. Because starting me, it seems difficult. I haven't even started, but you have to start somewhere. Wonderfully said. So, you, so yeah. So, Keshav, uh, my regards to your parents also. I'm sure they must be very happy with your success. And yes, uh, yes. again, many congratulations to you. And uh, I'm, I'm sure that you will get your dream branch radiology in one of the premier institutes. Uh, hopefully MAMC or UC or LH. So yes. wonderful, wonderful. So proud of you, Keshav. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And thank you for talking to us and thank you for giving such valuable insights to our juniors. Thank you. May God bless you.